Hi, I'm Paul Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 7, Section 1, number 33 and 34. 33 reads, in passage 1, Tocqueville implies that the treatment of men and women as identical in nature would have which consequence? So a lot of times students are like, consequence, that means like something bad, right? Well, it just means a result. Commonly on SAT, it'll just mean as a result. Actually, commonly in usage, it means just as a result. You might not be as familiar with that meaning. So we need the result of treating men and women as identical. And if you notice here, this is paired with 34. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the line references, and we're going to see what is the result of treating men and women as identical. You don't have to do the line reference first. It depends on you, and it also depends on whether you remember the answer, you remember the lines. Anyway, we are going to do the line reference first just for to get some footing. Answer choice A. There are people in Europe who, confounding, confusing together the different characteristics of the sexes, would make of man and woman beings not only equal but alike. So that's not giving you the consequence or the result. It's giving you, it's just saying that there's people in Europe who treat men and women alike. Answer choice B, they would give to both the same functions, impose on both the same duties, and grant to both the same rights. Now, answer choice B is just telling you how they're treating men and women as identical. Answer choice C, it may, be, it may readily be conceived that by thus attempting to make one sex equal to the other, both are degraded. What's degraded mean? It's low in standard or quality, it's distorted, it's contaminated, it's not good if it's degraded. That sounds like it's what he's saying is a result of treating men and women equally, that both are lowered in quality. We'll look at answer choice D as well, but before we do, we want to get some context. So we're going to read from 24 to 26 and then read answer choice D. And from so preposterous, which is basically means ridiculous, a medley or a mix of the works of nature, nothing could ever result but weak men and disorderly women. So it sounds like when he's expanding on that, he's saying that we get the worst quality of both in the other when we treat the genders equally. Answer choice D. It is not thus that Americans understand that species of democratic equality which may be established between the sexes. So basically what answer choice D is saying is that Americans don't believe, they don't buy into this idea that both genders are going to be bought low, going to be degraded um, if uh, men and women are treated equally. Now, answer choice D is not a result. Answer choice D is just making a judgment about Americans if and when they do treat men and women equally. So it looks like our answer has to be C for the line reference. So we're going to choose answer choice C for our line reference over here. A and B are gone. C is our winner. Men and women are degraded when they're treated equally. And now we need a match for number 33. 33, neither sex would feel oppressed. Now, that's an attractive wrong answer. Why? Because most students in their 2020 mind, they're like, yeah, treat men and women equally. No one's going to be oppressed. No one's going to um, have fewer rights. But that's not his point. That might be true. That might. That's not his point. That's not what the passage is saying. You have to answer exactly to what the passage is saying. If the passage says the sky is green, then you answer the sky is green. Answer choice B. Both sexes would be greatly harmed. Notice what the SAT people do here. They use a different word than harm. They use the word degraded, but that looks like it's a good match for our prediction. Answer to C, men would try to reclaim their lost authority. Um, is that true? I mean, maybe men would say, hey, we had all the rights and women didn't. We want to make it back to the old way possible, but that's not what the passage is saying. Cannot choose answer to a C. Answer to a D, men and women will have privileges they do not need. 
there's no support for that in the passage. That would be like, women have now have the right to vote, but no one wants to vote anyway. Um, and men could uh, stay at home and take care of the babies, but they don't want to anyway, so they both have privileges. Uh, passage doesn't say anything about that. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble with these paired passage questions. If there's any question you'd like to see from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, you can leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.